It's hilarious to me. Truckers sending money off to brokers, telling them that they can teach them how to do a trucking business when truckers historically don't trust brokers and dispatchers. How the fuck did that happen? When, when was that normal? We talk about hating brokers all the time and not trusting them. Now we're sending them money to teach us how to be truckers. They don't drive. What are we talking about? And right now, since y'all are messy, y'all trying. Well, who is he talking about? Take a pick. They're everywhere. You must have zero self-awareness to believe you're supposed to be owning a $3 million company. But you can't keep your personal finances together. You believe you would have the commitment that it takes to run this company. Right? And you can't stay with your woman. You can't stay with your man. You don't have a commitment to stay to the person you vowed to stay with. And I'm supposed to believe you're going to do the right thing when it comes to this company. You don't have the freaking honesty not to cheat on your person when you're on the road. We know y'all are cheating. What are we talking about? You're out here lying and cheating on your old lady, lying and cheating on your old man on the road. But we are supposed to believe you're not going to lie and cheat on the books when you get all this money. That's what we're supposed to believe. That's what Freightliner is supposed to believe in giving you that truck. That's why they don't want to give y'all that truck. They want you to go through the regime because they don't trust you. Because you went out for the past five years and you got a bunch of LLCs defaulted. You got a bunch of PP loans spent it on the wrong thing. These are the people that are trustworthy that we supposed to go to and be selling businesses to and all that stuff. What are we talking about? That makes no sense. You have proven to not be trustworthy. Proven. That's why these companies you go to the dealership, there's all these rules. Rules don't show up out of nowhere. Why would these companies and these trucking places or these dealerships have all these rules on you getting the money and them getting paid? It would behoove them to give it to you, but you have proven that you're not trustworthy to do so. And then you come up to me and ask me what? TB, should I stop my comfort for the job and go out there in the owner-op world? Really? <laughs> really? Who are you going to do business with? Because I know all the different gurus out here tell you that it's, oh, go in here and you just make some calls. It is not that easy. Get out of here, man. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. You can't make a good decision on what to put in your mouth when you're on the road. You're eating the wrong food. You're not brushing your teeth. You're smelling like a dumpster. Your truck is, is terrible on the inside. You're not changing your oil. Your tires are freaking bald. You're driving too fast. You're driving illegally. We can't even trust you to run your freaking shit legally. That's what you want us to believe? You think there is no number of co trucking companies that crashed? How, how many number of one-person trucking companies crashed in the past five years? Someone Google it. It's, all, it's up. These people who hold the cards and the money and the freight and all that, they can see these numbers. They know y'all not trustworthy like that. What are you talking about, man? Come on. And what do you want it for? Just to say you have it so you can go on Instagram and put on a bunch of Fendi's and push-up bras and act like you're freaking... I've never... Peace to the God to rebirth. I had to read Jackie Ishan. I've never been to the top of one of these companies and seen uh, uh, some random black chick up there in six-inch fucking heels doing deals with the white vampire-looking dude at the top of Prime. Get the fuck out of here. You've seen their, their wall of benefactors. You've seen their wall of old people. Any of them got heels on. Screw black. Have you seen a woman up there? Look at that. Go to their website. Look at the companies that have all this freight. What do they look like? Old white people. And these are the people we think that are going to look at you and your Gucci jumpsuit and say, I'll trust you with my freight account. Get out of here. The people sitting up there with the freight making the decisions, they don't even want you parking your truck in their neighborhood, let alone they're here to do business with you. Stop it, man. It's a lie. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm saying you should do a self-check of yourself to make sure you're the type of person to do that. And I'm here to say 90% of you ain't. How can you say that, TB?
No one looked up the numbers of trucking companies that, that, that failed. Anyone look that number up for me? Somebody knows that. Where Mario at? Mario tell you. Where's Mario? I don't see him. Mario, you in here? Someone looked up the failed trucking company. Here's a better number y'all could look up if you could, if they show it, if they're showing it. You know, these dealerships tell you how many of y'all default on trucks. Not from a, a not from a mega carrier. I'm talking about when you go to the dealership and get a truck. They, they, they keep a record of how many y'all are defaulting on them. What are we talking about here? Am I wrong? Oh, I'm going to get so much backlash. I shouldn't proceed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All y'all should have businesses. All of y'all should park next. All y'all should pose with wraiths. All y'all should have long nails and moisten that jury. All of y'all should have fake boobs and butts and, and collagen injection. All of y'all should be walking around like a freaking model and be sexy like that has anything to fucking do with trucking. Anything. I look at some of these people like, damn, I want to fuck. What are I talking about trucking for? This looks like an OnlyFans ad. Then you slide over there to the actual trucking companies and they're walking up to you and dockers and a button up. Or here, here at We Keep It So White Trucking, we like our car trucks to look clean. You'll get a good driver, you get a good this, and we believe in family. Switch to niggles. Everybody naked. Chabu. I have never seen, I ain't gonna let y'all put this on Robert Lowe. I have never seen Robert Lowe with his freaking button open and a chain and his taco meat out. Hey, what's happening, baby? Never. I've never seen Gene at CR England pull up in some Stacey Adams and hop out of Lambo. What's that? And bitch, I'm rich. Look at the rings. Never. So I'm supposed to see that and then turn around and give you five, ten, twenty thousand dollars Man, y'all smoking drugs. If y'all are getting these people 10 grand. Then complain to the business bureau on the back end because there's a lot of people talking. Don't get nothing to what you're supposed to get. You'll get him 10000 for a lie and send me $5 for the truth. Get the fuck out my face, bro. Get the fuck out my face, dog. You'll go over there, get him 5000 then come to my freaking Patreon and sign up free. And how they do it, nigga? You give you can't even talk. These niggas is a hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars to speak to these niggas, bro. Y'all ever looked on their website and see how much it costs to call them? Two fifty, a hundred an hour. But then you come to my fucking channel, you go to all my stuff and inbox me and say, "Hey, TB, I need some game for free." Fuck out of here, nigga. And say, "What's wrong with you asking for a cash app?" These niggas ask you off for ten grand up front, and you niggas is paying the shit, and then not get the truth. Just for y'all to go upstairs and go, go online and find out these people got one truck that ain't running. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up. That's me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, bro. I'm sorry. I'm doing too much today. I need to stop. I need to stop. Let me read the rumble because I'm doing too much. I need to stop. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which his link is at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.